I've made a video in uh, ages. I didn't really know what to make one about because uh, I guess CCC is finished now. So I just thought today I'd start making one. It's Tuesday. Me and Mum just come down to the beach. It's bloody 30 degrees, not a breath of wind. Primo. It is exactly one week later. <laughs> I keep going to make a video, like picking the camera up and starting one, and then I just don't finish it. So I haven't really had enough time, and I've sort of... Yeah, anyway, today I'm going to make one. Pretty painful way to start the morning. This thing is brutal. But uh, I still don't really know what I'm going to make this video about. Today's actually my rest day, so I'm not running, but I'll probably just run through a bit about how training's gone the last month. Races coming up, and probably may as well run through a bit of uh, what I've been eating. People seem to like those. I like making those, and I like watching those on YouTube, so let's do it. <laughs> Oats for breakfast, been having uh, oats every single morning for the last fair while. Uh, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you remember I used to always have peanut butter and jam on toast for breakfast. But I stopped eating bread, I don't know what prompted me to stop eating it, but uh, once I did, I just felt a lot better, so I just continued to uh, not eat it. But I got about half a cup of oats, I put two Brazil nuts, two pecans, two walnuts, Cover it with almond milk, cook it on the stove top and uh, drop a little bit of coconut oil in there. About that much. So that's it, I've got it on some blueberries, I've got some cinnamon on there, some homemade hazelnut butter, some Koyo coconut yogurt just a natural flavoured one and I've got some hemp seeds and some chia seeds. It's pretty bomber. Roasted those almonds up. I'm going to make some almond butter out of them. I've been enjoying making my own nut butters lately. I just love nut butter. <laughs> I'm a fiend for it. I love almond butter. I love hazelnut butter. I love peanut butter. Uh, and it's pretty easy to do, so I'm going to do that, but I need to uh, have a shower, get ready, get the day going. So I did finish this video, but it just got a little bit rushed in the uh, later part of the day. It wasn't that good. So it's currently Sunday. I'm going to finish it off today with my uh, lunch and then tea tonight to show you what I have. But uh, I thought I'd go through a bit about how uh, my training's been going and uh, what I've got coming up for races. So I've gradually uh, eased back into training and upping my mileage and everything since I got home from Europe. Originally, you know, the CCC was uh, my big race for the year. Everything sort of built up towards that. I was going to take a big break afterwards, but I recovered really well. Uh, I was having so much fun. Well, I still am just having heaps of fun with my running and really enjoying it. So I've sort of naturally ended up knocking out some decent training weeks. Puts me in a spot now where I sort of need to decide whether I do another race soon or I take a break because I I take resting pretty seriously. I really think that you need to take at least a couple of months a year to sort of cycle things down and, and have a restful period. There's no real off season in Australia. You can just keep racing all year round if you want to. So if I do do another race soon, it'll be 
most likely the Great Southern Endurance Run 50 miler, which is the first running of uh, that event this year. There's 50 and 100 miles. 50's got 4,500 metres of climbing and 5,000 metres of descent on some pretty rugged terrain from what I've heard. It's pretty technical in part, so it'll be a pretty solid day out. But uh, be either that one or take a break before I start uh, moving into next year. I've got some more solid plans for next year. I've entered the pre-registration for Lavarado, which I'll find out in a couple of days, actually, if I get into that. Uh, and then also in a couple of days, the entries for Iga Ultra Trail open. I'm going to try and get into that. And I'll enter the lottery for TDS at UTMB next year as well. I won't, I'm won't. i only going to do two of those races, so it'll be whatever ones I get into. Or may, it might end up just being one, uh, if I only get into one. But if I get into none of those, I'll find something else to do. But... Uh, next year will be sort of based around those races, hopefully. Twenty past one, time for some lunch. I'm having chickpea pumpkin curry that I made during the week. Pretty much my routine has been, uh, I've just been really enjoying cooking. So I get home at night and I cook a meal for tea and then have the leftovers for lunch. But... Uh, I've kind of got banged up on leftovers, so I'm trying to clean the fridge out a little bit. But this curry is really good. I'll leave the uh, recipe for it in the description. It's pretty easy to make too. And I've got it with some cauliflower rice, which I've really been enjoying lately. It's, uh, yeah, I hadn't tried it before. You just basically grate up a cauliflower, do it in the fr food processor, and then just kind of uh, saute it in a... Uh, I've got a big chef's pan that I use to saute it with a little bit of olive oil until it gets sort of the right texture. Super good. So I've just got a bit of uh, black bean brownie that I made as well and a cup of green tea. Randomly just started to enjoy green tea lately as well don't know why could be a sign I'm getting old <laughs> I don't know it's good though so I wasn't going to cook today just going to use up leftovers like I said but there was vegetables that I needed to use up so I'm making just going to make like a vegetable lasagna which has never really been my favourite thing but uh uses up a heap of veggies so I'm making the sauce too so I've got onion, carrot, celery, garlic and then I've got some zucchinis I had to use up to use in the lasagna and I'll probably use sweet potato as well kind of just winging it on this one making this one up as I go Alright, so that's my sauce going. Just gonna let that simmer now. It's a Buddha chef recipe. I've been really enjoying, oh, put it this way, I've made a few of his recipes now. Not one of them has been bad. They're really simple and easy to make. Found out about him from the No Meat Athlete podcast. Uh, and the episode with him was, was really good, really interesting. So I recommend checking that out uh, if you want something to listen to. So I'm gonna let that cook and uh, Make my lasagna. Alright, ready to build this thing. So I've got my sauce, which is done. And then I made this uh, cheesy sauce out of cashew to put in between the layers. And then my vegetables that I'm going to use. Listen to this.
back in the oven now for about 10 to 15 uncovered get it all nice and crisp looks like it's coming up pretty good had two slices of the lasagna, more cauliflower rice on the side with a bit of avocado. Bloody good. Probably one of the best meals uh, I've ever cooked, I think. But pretty typical day of eating lately, uh, even though technically this video was two different days. Breakfast is always the same, so uh, still pretty typical. But like I said, I've just been really enjoying cooking, enjoying the process of it, and you know appreciating my food. Just in general, makes you appreciate your food so much more, and it makes you feel great. Uh, my diet wasn't bad before, but it's just so much cleaner now. I've cooked all my own meals for the last two months, and I just feel awesome. Uh, like, really good. I can really notice a difference. So, hopefully this video encourages you uh, to, to give it a try yourself. You know, it, it takes time, uh, but I just... I, cooking is training. That's the way I look at it now, because it, it uh, makes you run better, makes you feel better. And I'm not someone who sort of struggles with, uh, you know, committing to things like that. I just flip the switch and, and and I'm on. But I know a lot of people uh, do try to eat better and they, they struggle with it. If you, you know, if you fall off the wagon, just get back on. Keep trying and, and try to be as consistent as you can is uh, what my advice would be. But uh, anyway, that's it for the video. Catch you later.